Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys how to create a Windows Server 2025 bootable USB drive. We're gonna be doing this with the help of an application called Rufus, and we'll show you guys how to download that as well. Now, before we jump into the video, if you guys are interested in purchasing Windows Server 2025, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the very first step is to actually download Rufus. So I'm just gonna open my web browser and I'll search for Rufus, R-U-F-U-S. We'll click the first link that pops up here and we'll also leave this in the description for you guys. And we're just gonna scroll down a little bit until we see the standard x64 exe. So that's the one I need. Um, there's an, also an ARM version here, but again, I'll just grab the standard one. And I'll simply click this link right here and it's gonna download that for us. Okay, I'll pull up my file explorer and go to downloads to actually bring this download up. The next thing we're gonna need is our Windows Server 2025 disk image file. Now, if you purchase Windows Server 2025, we will directly email you a link to download the image file. If you've purchased it from elsewhere, you can refer to your vendor for how to get the file, or if you got it from Microsoft, you should have instructions as well. All right, so with that out of the way, let's jump into Rufus. I'll double click to open the EXE. We'll click yes on the pop-up, and I already have my USB connected to my computer. All right, so first up, make sure that your correct device is connected. Uh, this is my 256 gigabyte thumb drive, so that is the one that I want. And in boot selection, keep it as the disk or ISO image. Next up, we'll hit select here, and then we're gonna navigate to where we downloaded that file. All right, here it is for me, so I'll click that and click open. So we've now selected our image file. I'll keep the rest of our settings default here, and we're pretty much ready to go. You can actually change your partition scheme if you'd like to. Uh, GPT is for UEFI, and MBR is actually for BIOS, which is more of a legacy setting. So GPT is good. I'll go ahead and click start. Here we have a few of the customized Windows installation options. I'm gonna leave this again as default. Now, here we get a warning. This is actually very critical to pay attention to. All data will be destroyed if I hit continue. So I'd recommend just verifying that any critical data has been protected from this drive. And in my case it has, so I'll go ahead and press okay. We're gonna let the status bar do its thing. Now, once that actually finishes loading, the drive will be fully ready to go and we could boot straight from it on our computer. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about any parts of that process, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server 2025, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.